It's the most support for the arts since Spokane got rid of its department a few years ago. And last night, the city council voted to triple the arts budget. KXY 4's Brittany Perra is working for you with more on that. Soon, you might notice new art popping up across Spokane. I think it's one of the most important things that's ha that has happened to the arts here in Spokane in the last uh, at least half decade. Yesterday, in a six to one vote, the city council approved an ordinance that triples the city's arts budget. An estimated 200 people went to the hearing, all in support of the arts. It was the first time since I've been city council president, and I've been here over four years, where we've had an issue that's large, but it has zero opposition. The decision comes at a time when Spokane's art scene is thriving. Many folks, uh, cre especially creative types in their 20s and 30s, are, are moving moving back or staying here. It's a wonderful time to be in Spokane. Marshall Peterson owns Marmot Art Space Gallery in Kendall Yards. He attended Monday night's city council meeting to testify on the importance art has in our community. I want to look back in four years when it will have been a million dollars and talk about all these amazing things that have happened because of this investment. The ordinance reallocates a third of the city's admissions tax. It won't raise taxes, but it will increase the arts budget from $80,000 to about $250,000 a year. Half of them will go to support the current, the arts fund, which we created when the uh, city arts department was eliminated in 2012. And then 125,000 will go out to grants to arts organizations in our community. But those dollars spent on art means they can't be spent on what council member Mike Fagan says are necessities like fixing roads and fighting poverty. We always want the nice things but we tend to forget about the necessary things and that's the primary reason why I voted against it. Stuckert says it doesn't have to be one or the other. Every dollar that you spend on public art brings $5.5 dollars back to the community. Now experts say this ordinance gets Spokane up into city, up into the realm of cities like Tacoma, which spends about $900,000 a year on their arts department. Now we'll just be at about a third of that, but it's a step in the right direction. Live in Spokane tonight, I'm Brittany Paris, KXLY 4 News.